Hello there. Welcome to Anybody Can Code C++ series. So if you are new to this series, you can click on the card that's above to check out our previous videos. Hi guys, uh, welcome to the ABC series of C++ from Facebook. So in the previous video, we have discussed a lot of things related to operators, right? So if you have not seen the video, please go back and see the video. You'll get a clear uh, uh, idea about what operators are. So in the previous video, I had discussed, uh, uh, you know, that there was a uh, loophole or a flaw, like we were not able to judge which was a bigger number and which was a smaller number. And uh, 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 we were not able to divide things properly over there, right? So uh, in this particular video, we will be discussing things on the conditional statements. So let's just start our uh, uh, series over here. So uh, we, we will have a lot of things to discuss over here, guys, uh, but uh, certain things will remain common in this particular video. Okay, so uh, I have these a list of things what I'll be discussing. So the first one will be if statement. Second thing is if else statement. Third is if else if and else statement. And the last one is a nested if else statement. So all these things are called as conditional statements. So let's just start with the first one that is if statement. So what exactly is an if statement? So if you have to decide uh, uh, based on a condition and then compile your code, okay, then you'll have to use certain conditional statements, right? So you can see on the screen. So the first part says if the condition is true, perform these operations. What you can see on the comment line with the red uh, uh, you know, symbol over here at right, this part. Okay, and the second part says that uh, if the condition is false, none of these codes will be running. But uh, the code which is after the if statement will be running, right? So you can see int number is equal to five. Okay, five is greater than zero. It is true. Okay, if the condition is true, it will enter inside this particular brace and it will run the code. Okay, condition is false, which means number is equal to minus five. Number is greater than zero, which is false. It will not enter inside this particular if brace. It will come out of this brace and run the other programming uh, lines which are supposed to be compiled. Okay, so let's see how it works uh, in the compiler. So here, uh, let me just, uh, you know, declare certain variables, integer values, let's say uh, a is equal to uh, 10. Okay, and then I'll be taking uh, b is equal to 15. And then I'll take uh, c is equal to 30. Okay, so these are the three variables what I've taken, integer variables what I've taken uh, for better understanding, 10, 15, and 30. Uh, so here what I'll do is uh, before printing anything, I'll write a uh, if condition. Okay, so if A is greater than uh, B. Okay, if A is greater than B. Okay, I'll open and close the brace over here. So you can see it has uh, come with the scope, right? So if that condition is true, then see out a, a statement saying that it is uh, true. Okay, if, the, if A is greater than B, I'll have to print a true. Okay, or else it will come out of that particular, uh, uh, you know, if a brace and it will print uh, false away. Okay, let me just remove, yeah, false, right? So A is a 10, what I've given, and B is 15, which means it is not true. This condition is not true, right? So let me just run this particular code and check what exactly happens. And it is printing me a false, right? Which means that A is not a greater than B. Right, so you can uh, do a lot of experimentation over here, guys. You can also write, uh, you know, a is uh, uh, a is greater than b, okay? Or uh, you can use the same statement, saying that over here, if it is false, okay, I can also say a is not greater than b, okay? So if you just run this particular statement, uh, you can see that. The compiler will literally talk to you, right? So A is not greater than B. That's that's great, right? So based on this, you can add on things and uh, you can do your own experimentation. So this is a basic if-else statement, right? So now let's say I just uh, change this particular value. I change it to, uh, uh, let's say, 55. Okay, now if A is 55, B is 15. So obviously A is greater, which means the condition is true. The condition is true. I'll be getting this particular C out statement saying that A is uh, greater than B. Okay, but now there is a small flaw, guys. Now the flaw is, uh, you know, this particular C out statement, okay, it will get printed, uh, you know, even if the condition is uh, true or false or whatever, it doesn't matter, but it will get printed, right? So how do I, uh, uh, you know, avoid that? Okay, to avoid that, we have the next conditional statement. That is the if else statement. So if else statement. So how exactly does the if else statement work is, 
if my uh, condition is true my code which is inside the if brace will run okay if the condition is false my code which is inside the else part will run okay and then it will move on for the next part of the uh, code okay that is exactly how it will work so you can see over here i have taken the same example of 5 and minus 5 right so when it is true it will run the code which is inside the if brace and directly it will go outside uh, you know it will not check whatever is there inside else part it will directly run the things which is there outside uh, the if else or if the condition is false when it comes to the second case it will not run the if uh, uh, brace it will directly run the else brace and whatever statements are given over there after that right so let me check uh, uh, how it works in the compiler so here we have that flaw right so we if uh, uh, even if a is lesser than b or greater than b the second c out statement was uh, running so let me just write down this particular code over here so i'll just write down the else part right so okay i've written the else part so let me just drag this down a little bit yeah okay so uh, here we have got the f part and i've also got the else part uh, so this will be the if brace okay this entire thing will be the if brace and this will be the else brace okay so if uh, the condition is uh, true this is supposed to be printed if uh, that is a is greater if the condition is false a is not greater is supposed to be printed or let me just slightly change this i'll just write uh, b is greater than uh, a okay it, it it makes a lot of sense right right okay i'll just try to run this code let's see what happens now a is 55 b is 15 so let's see what gets printed it is supposed to print a is greater than b okay it is printing a is greater than b now you can see the second statement is not being printed unlike the last time right let's say i change this uh, value of uh, 55 to 5 now let's see what it prints it is supposed to print b is greater than a and uh, it is exactly printing that that is b is greater than a okay this is your if else statement the use of else guys now the next conditional statement what we have is is if else if and else okay now let's say there are a lot of other conditions which are supposed to be continuing after the first condition so how do you do that right so let's check uh, how that is done so let's say after this particular condition uh, 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 you know i'll have one more condition uh, else if uh, c okay uh, a, i have to check which is common or which is greater than all these three numbers i have to check which is greater of all these numbers okay so what i'll do is a is greater than b okay and and okay i hope you remember the logical operator what i had taught you and and uh, a is uh, greater than uh, c okay now what does it mean over here a is greater than b and and a is greater than c which means a is greatest okay let me just slightly tweak this particular sentence over a is greatest uh, a is the greatest okay and then uh, i'll write one more condition saying that uh, if that is false which means that i'm supposed to check for the other two numbers right b and c okay else if b is uh, greater than c okay else if b is uh, greater than c i'm supposed to print b is the greatest okay b is the greatest okay else okay i'll write uh, uh, one more statement else okay it's inside the brace just take it outside the bit else okay which means that obviously by default uh, i'll have my uh, c as the greatest number so i'll be just uh, printing that particular line over here which means that c is the greatest right a semicolon at the end so here we have just uh, written a small program guys which might be i mean which will be asked for you know a lot of competitive exams find the greatest of three numbers okay this is a very simple code what you can see over here so first thing what i've done is i've checked if a is greater then i've checked if b is greater and then i have if not if a is not greater b is not greater then obviously by default since we have got three numbers c is the greatest right now let's check uh, what gets printed over here yeah you can see that c is the greatest as uh, 30 uh, 5 and 15 we've got 30 as the greatest number now let's just tweak the uh, assignments over here so i'll just take this as 55 so i'm supposed to get uh, you know a is the greatest right so let's see what happens so i'm getting a is the greatest right so i hope you have understood guys so this is called as if else if and else conditional statement okay now we'll go for the last part of the conditional statements case that is your nested if else statement right so you've got something called as a nested if else statement i'll explain you what exactly that is 
Now let's say inside this particular if, okay, inside this particular first condition, okay, you want to include one more condition, okay, inside this particular if condition, you want to include uh, one more condition. Uh, let's say if A and B is greater and also, okay, A is equal to equal to B, okay, A, uh, A is greater than B. Yeah, that will not be possible. A is equal to equal to C. Okay, I'll just write this particular statement. Okay, then I'll have to print a C out statement saying that uh, A is equal to B or equal to C. Okay, so I've written a small, uh, uh, you know, nested if over here, guys, which means if inside a if. Okay, so here A is greater than B and A is greater than C. Okay, so a greater than C is not possible. So let me just write this way. A is greater than B. Uh, and inside this, if A is greater than, uh, um, A is equal to equal to C. I'm supposed to give a C out statement saying that A is equal to C. So let me just make that appropriate 55. So here what has happened? A is greater than B, right? So 55 is greater than 15, true. And if this is true, it will enter inside this particular uh, brace. Right, so inside this, it is supposed to check again, right? So A is equal to equal to C. Okay, is A equal to C? Yes, it's 55 here, it is 55 here. So let me just run this and uh, see what it will print for me. So it is printing A is equal to C. Okay, or else uh, uh, you can uh, write one more condition. Else, okay, else I'll write uh, uh, C out. C out, A is not equal to C. Okay, just uh, an example case. So else A is not equal to C. Now let me just uh, uh, change this to from 51 to 50, um, 55 to 51. Okay, now A is greater than B, that is true. Okay, but A is equal to equal to C, this condition is false, right? So else what is it, is it supposed to print? A is not equal to C. And that is exactly what it is printing in the output screen. A is not equal to C. Now this is called as nested if, guys. You can have if inside if, else and... Uh, uh, else inside if okay a lot of things can be done you can just do an experimentation over there and a lot of huge codes okay uh, can be solved using nested if and conditional statements right so uh, this is one more thing uh, but again there is a small problem over here guys right so I've declared three variables right but in practical scenarios let's say I want 50 variables okay I want 50 numbers to be checked uh, let's say I want 100 numbers to be checked, but you cannot go on writing this particular statement, right? So A is equal to B, C, I mean, A is equal to 55, B is equal to 15, C is equal to 51, then D is equal to, let's say, 45. You cannot go on writing uh, something like this till 100, right? So that does not make any sense. So how do you solve that? Yes, we do definitely have a method for that. I mean, a, a, a system for that, okay? They are called as arrays. Okay, so in the next video of us, we'll be discussing something related to arrays, how to, uh, you know, take in inputs in bulk, okay, how to operate with inputs in bulk and how to deal with all the inputs in bulk. Okay, so till then, I hope you have understood this particular video and I hope you'll be there for the next video as well. So uh, just practice a few things guys, because code is one thing which, you know, you'll only understand if you have practiced. Hope you like the video. Do not forget to subscribe and do click on the bell icon so that you get notified when the further videos are released. And also check out our Instagram page and WhatsApp broadcast services. The links are in the description below.